I think it's fascinating that people who tell you they want local control, they want local people respected, that there's too much power in Washington, that Washington does too much, then they go to the 23rd District of New York where there were four local meetings. In all four meetings, the Republican came in first. And in fact, the person who's now running as a protest candidate came in last in all four mm -hmm. meetings. Didn't get to the top three in any meeting. Doesn't live in the district. Now, after he lost the Republican nomination and the local people had made their selection of a state representative who has represented the area in the state legislature, who has worked on local issues, who represents the largest mm -hmm. county in the district. He decided with the help of a lot of outside money that he would make this a case, basically I think out of his own personal ambition. Okay, now, now I, so, so you have to ask yourself a question. By what right do outsiders decide that they will come in and tell the people of the district, these are the local Republicans, that the local Republicans aren't worthy of picking their own candidate? Okay. Uh, that they don't, they don't know enough about their own district to pick their own candidate? Sorry to interrupt, but we don't want to focus on the local aspect here as much as we want to talk about what this means within the party. There appears a little bit of a division because Sarah Palin is backing the opponent because of his conservative values. So it appears two different camps in the GOP. One that says they need to get more conservative, get back to those core values. Another part of the Republican Party says we need to be moderate. We need to get those independents. Uh -huh. Which way does the party need to go for the future? Well, I, I just don't agree with that analysis. Uh, the Republican nominee ha has signed the no tax increase pledge. She is endorsed by the National Rifle Association. She is opposed to the Obama health plan. She is opposed to cap and trade and big energy tax increases. She's going to vote against Nancy Pelosi for speaker and for John Boehner for speaker. Now, on every one of those counts, she's fairly conservative. There are some issues that she's a social liberal on. Mm -hmm. But let me just say, if, if some people in the Republican Party want to go around the country purging everyone they disagree with, they're going to rapidly make this a minority party for a generation, and they're going to guarantee the re-election of President Obama, and they're going to guarantee that Nancy Pelosi stays as speaker for the rest of her life. And I don't think it's a very clever idea to go into upstate New York and try to impose national values on a local race. And I do think localism matters. All these people who tell you they care about the Tenth Amendment, that they want the states allowed, left alone, are now interfering in a New York State Republican decision made by New York State mm. Republicans freely and openly. And in every single one of the four meetings, they picked Dee Dee first and they picked Hoffman last. He came in ninth out of nine.